What's up guys? I'm here in New York City in my company's New York office. Uh, as you saw in yesterday's vlog, it's kind of my journey in. If you didn't see yesterday's vlog, be sure to press the exclamation point and uh, watch yesterday's vlog. But yeah, I got in here real early this morning. I uh, had a number of meetings today. Right now I'm just trying to get some work done. Um, I'm probably not going to leave the office today very much, so today's vlog will be pretty short. But after work, we're going out. I'm going to try to capture some of that and uh, show you around uh, the, the night scene that we're going to be going out here. Like I said earlier, if you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, be sure to click the exclamation point because in that vlog, I talked a little bit about traveling for work and which I was going to be doing today. So, that being said, I, when I first started my career and I work in advertising, used to love traveling for work. And it's not that I don't now, it's just a little bit different because when you think like you're going unique places, like I'm from Chicago, so and I have my friends in New York, I'm like, oh, I get to go see all my friends, I get to go see and like do touristy stuff, or like if I wanna see things, not really. I went straight from the airport, straight to the hotel, and this morning, the hotel walks straight into work, and I'm gonna be here all day. Like I said earlier, we're gonna be going out a little bit later, so hopefully I can capture some of that for you, but that really embodies the whole trip is that you know you pretty much go from airport to the office to the hotel to you know airport again and uh you don't get to see a lot but we make the best with our situation always 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 if you can step on your lunch and go see some cool stuff but um as i kind of get older now and uh i just want to just just get home and i kind of understand that that being said I'm gonna have a great time here in New York. I absolutely love this office. I love the people that I work with here. It's gonna be a good time. I don't know what it is about New York, but something about it inspires creativity. I come to this place semi-often, and I see a lot of unique things that you don't have anywhere else in the country, only in New York City, and it really is a testament to New York City. I love this city, I love the creativity, and kind of the extra oomph it gives me when I'm here. Uh, before, I hadn't been producing videos, but always I would see and be in things around the city and just be inspired by them. And it is truly fascinating now that I've been creating videos again, all the potential and the things that I have overlooked since being here. I don't know about you guys, but throughout my travels, in my personal life and in my professional life, I've come up with a bunch of little tips and tricks that I always do, and probably the number one thing that I have to bring everywhere I go, in fact, it is a fixture in my backpack. Here is my backpack, and it's a fixture. But what that is, is a portable charger. The one that I love looks something like this. It's not too big, it's a little bit thicker and bigger than like an iPhone, a little bit longer, it's kind of awkward shaped. But it's got a couple USB ports in it. And all of the chargers today have, you know, USB ports for most of your phones and iPhones and whatnot. But if you carry this around, you can charge your headphones, you can charge, I have an Apple Watch, I can charge that, I can charge my cell phone, I can charge any number of things that has the USB plug in it. I can charge my phone from dead all the way up probably four or five times just from this alone and this saves you so much especially because right now I'm doing a lot of my vlogging on my iPhone if I didn't have something like this I would be screwed so if you guys don't have anything like this I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below for uh, you guys to check these out they're an awesome tool that you can have and carry around. They're pretty inexpensive for what you get out of them. They're really durable, and some of them even have like a little flashlight thing, which is kind of interesting, that just in case you ever need a flashlight, then you're covered. Also, I never really explained what I'm doing in this room. As you can see, this is just your standard conference room. And I am here all by myself. But the reason why I have this room all to buy myself right now is because everyone else is in a training and it's for some fairly senior level people in the organization and all of the uh, mid to upper mid managers like myself 
uh, are dismissed until a few hours later and then we have to get back at it. So in the meantime, I want to get some work done. Guys, another thing I just realized is this is my third vlog. Count them, one, two, three. If you wanna see any of the other vlogs, vlog number one or two, hit the exclamation point in the corner, but I don't want to miss this moment. You may think it's small, the third vlog, but this is coming from someone who had stopped making films altogether, who had stopped making movies. And this is a big deal for me. I don't like to take things for granted and I love the fact that I'm being consistent and continuing to do something that I enjoy. So give this video a thumbs up if you like to do things that you enjoy. If you are enjoying that I'm doing things I'm enjoying, everybody's doing enjoyable things. I'm gonna try my best to keep these up and give you guys some quality vlogs to watch, but the fact of the matter is, is I, I don't quite have my confidence in it yet. So. As we go, hopefully the quality of the vlog will get better and better and better. But the thing that I worry about the most is that I just won't have great material to show you every single day. But I guess that's the point of a vlog, is you just get to see my day as it is and how I live it. So if you wanna see more vlogs coming up, be sure to subscribe on top of my other videos that I produce that won't be vlogs, but they'll just be standalone videos. What are the business rules behind that? How do we work out this process and automate that? So again, along with all the individual fees, we had to join between the ad server and the print. <laughs> uh, what is up, guys? Just got done with work. And now heading back to my hotel. It's only like five or six blocks, so it's not too far. But given that I'm here, I am going to go a little bit out of my way and take you guys through Times Square. It is not too far away. I normally wouldn't go that way just because it's kind of crazy, a lot of people. But just for you guys, I will take you guys. All right guys, I'm back in my hotel now, getting ready to end the vlog. I'm so excited that you guys came with me today. Sorry it was a shorter vlog, super busy, but hope you enjoyed Times Square. I absolutely love Times Square. It's super inspiring, like I said earlier, and I can't wait for the rest of my conference tomorrow. 
be sure to stay tuned tomorrow. Tomorrow's vlog is all going to be about going back to Chicago, so be sure to stay tuned. But now it's time to end the vlog, so have a good, good one, guys. Be sure to like this video and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.